All right. Whew. Hey guys. Uh, Phil coming to you from the woods today. It's uh, freezing cold. I think it's like six degrees with a wind chill of negative 12 or some goofy stuff. But uh, had to come to the woods anyway just because I've never had the whole snow experience too much one time before. But uh, anyways, come out here to enjoy my day off. I'm tired of cooped up in the uh, trailer over there because there's no water and the power went out. So it's, I mean, if you're going to be cold, you might as well be in the woods. So anyways, um, <laughs> chilling out here in the woods. It snows everywhere. It's actually beautiful out here today. Um, nice and sunny anyways. Blue skies. Most of the snows already fell. There should be some more rolling in tonight. But uh, we've already had like four or five inches. So it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm up here in my stand. But I'm not hunting today. Because hunting season's over. But I found this stick. And... Uh, I am going to be whittling a uh, spoon out of it to try to keep warm while I'm out here. And uh, let's see, I uh, found this old stick and you can kind of see the decay in it. I might have got hit by lightning. I don't know what the hell happened, but it's got this natural scoop in it already. So I'm going to try to work that down. And All right, well, the Enzo camper is doing good. It, uh, it has, uh, you know carved all the bark off and shaped it a little bit I got this little I got this little swill right here is it a spoon is it a mallet at this point it's either one um, I'm starting to think the best way to hollow this out would be to like drop a couple coals in there and uh, burn all that funk out of there you know um, keep it managed and, and just add little coals to it as it need be and watch it Oh, look, there's a freaking termite in there. That's what's going on. Yeah, look right there. A termite living in that fucker. So, uh, anyways. Burn him out and all them, all his buddies with it. And, uh, hell, that whole handle might be hollow. Come to look at it. But, uh, if I can get down to just the uh, good wood that's clearly right here on the outside, then it may be waterproof. Now, this on the end. That's clearly going to burn out, and that's porous. That's going to fall out, but... All right. I went and I got a bunch of, uh, bunch of sticks. Luckily, the snow is super powdery. It is uh, mega powder. It's not really wet, so nothing's... It seems odd, but it's not really wet. Um... Everything's so frozen, it's just frozen and not wet. Nothing's had a chance to melt. So maybe this won't be so bad. I got some cedar bark, some cedar branch. Let's see if I could do some feathers with that real quick. With the Enzo camper. Oh yeah. Get this out of the way. See that? Yeah. Oh yeah, paper thin. That bevel, you gotta turn it just right. The uh, trapper works better for this, I think, but this is doing the job. Not a problem. So, that's the camper. Let's try the trapper. Got them both in curry birch. <laughs> and uh, so they match. Not that that really matters to anything, but it's cool. And uh, one's full Scandi, and the other one's a kind of a Scandivex. 
trapper be in the Scandi, obviously. All right, let's try this. This should be better for feather sticks. Oh, let me try on the other side here. Yeah, it's like zero resistance with the trapper. Just barely lift that ledge up. Now, in order to get it going, these uh, both have the full 90 flat edge for start striking a fire steel. And if anyone was wondering how good the D2 works, here's a demonstration. This is one of those cheap Boy Scout strikers. I got it on here with a tire tube. Just one of them cheap magnesium strikers. I might go ahead and flex some uh, magnesium in there since I, I don't know why the, the ratio to magnesium to spark is so, uh, you know, different on these. It should be at least half and half, I think. But anyways, let's see what we can do. I'll tell you what, I'll just go right into the pile with it. I won't do the magnesium yet, just to see what we got. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. surprisingly easy Yeah. All right, I gotta admit, this ain't half bad out here now. A little fire going, I put me up a reflector wall with some uh, cedar bark. And, uh, Working out pretty good on this frozen tundra <laughs> everywhere around. So it's pretty nice. Little tree stand over there. And uh, just having fun in the woods, you know, doing the thing. All right. That started up no problem, as you saw. Um, as soon as I get me a little more cold, and I'll fill that bowl up. Actually, I might be able to dig some out right now. Let me see. All right, that uh, that fire was getting whisked away, so that that barrier wall right there is helping out a lot. Um, I was just pushing my fire hardcore to the uh, south there, but uh, 
anyways now it's kind of burning straight up and down got me some nice red embers right there so I'm just gonna reach in if I don't melt my gloves off and get me a scoop with my uh, spoon here look at that see that when that wind hits that fire you'll just go right through your firewood and it was doing twice that I'm going to go without the barrier so it's looking out pretty good so far until it burns down which is probably just right around the corner anyways here we go Without melting this glove to my hand. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's more of what I wanted right there. Yeah, so just keep an eye on those coals. And uh, I should burn my bowl down. Alright, so I was out there and uh, carved my bowl with the fire for a while. And uh, this is what I came up with. <laughs> it took forever. This looks retarded, but I can uh, take it and just split it out and make a nice little handle for it. You don't have to have this, which is hollow actually, and uh, from the rot. But it goes way, well, it used to go back in there. It's full of ashes now, but it goes in there a ways. So if I took my knife and just split it right down the middle, I have a nice little dish spoon. It's kind of got a little bevel in it. Which is perfect for some snow cones. Which you can just do like that. I know it's not good to eat snow because you get hypothermia or whatever, but I got a nice bonfire right there and I'm actually kind of hot. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Fill out. <laughs>